Hello everyone, welcome to Southern Reads. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to make this really beautiful cross wreath with purple roses. These are the supplies I used to make this wreath. Um, also halfway through I ran out of roses and had to go get more and they turned out to be darker than these so I had to rearrange some things but I'll show you that as I go through. This frame came from Dollar Tree and it measures 24 inches tall so it's pretty long. Um, at first I thought I was going to cut away my roses but then I was like I could just pop them off and glue them on. I was worried they wouldn't glue to the actual metal frame so I was trying to think of ways that I could attach them um, and then I just came up with some pipe cleaners. Um, you'll probably want to use pipe cleaners that match um, that are the same color as what your you know roses are. I didn't have any purple or white or gray so I just went with what I had. Um, I will cover up the back. I'm attaching it to the bottom left corner and I'm just wrapping it around. I was kind of just winging it at this point. I wasn't sure exactly where I was going with this. So after I add this one, I tried to see if the roses would, you know, uh, connect to it. I didn't think that it had enough coverage on there. And you'll see when I lay it on here. I just didn't feel like it had enough surface to attach to. So I'm just going to add another one and do the opposite of the first one I did. Now, if you understand this and you want to skip it, you can just <laughs> skip ahead because I am going to show you how I do each section. Just because it's not really something that you do every day. So I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't rushing through this part. And I'm basically just attaching it and then I'm pulling it kind of tight as I wrap. And that's what each section is going to look like. And then I felt like that was enough for it to hold on there. Now, every single rose is not going to attach or uh, connect to the actual pipe cleaner. Some of them will have to be glued to each other. And I can show you that as we go through. Some of them I attach to the pipe cleaner and each other. It was super simple. And then once I you know, figured out how I was going to do it, it went pretty quickly. The only thing I do a little different is the cross part, and I'll show you that when I get to that point. And if you don't want to do it this way, you can do it any way that you think will work for you. I will never tell you my way is the right way because everyone's different. Okay, so after I finished the bottom part, I wanted to do the you know, actual cross part. So I start on um, this side exactly the same way as I've been doing. Now, the first time I went through, I did it pretty much identical to the others, and then you'll see that I changed that in a minute because I wanted to make sure the middle was covered as well. So see, you could attach them here if you wanted to. And th there's no rhyme or reason to how many times I wrap it around. I'm just wrapping it until I run out of pipe cleaner. And these cross parts are actually a lot shorter than the, the longer sections. So that's why I had so much left over um, at the top to twist around. But here after I twist this one, I realized that I could bring it all the way into the center, like where the square is. And you can see that square right there. And so I'll undo the other side and do the same thing. But on the other side, um, I actually brought it back out, and I'll show you that. And that's a great thing about using stuff like pipe cleaners. You can always undo what you've done. Nothing's permanent. So I wrap it around the square, and then I bring it right back out to where I was at. And this just, I felt like it was covering a possible gap. So like I said before, when I go through and add all of the roses. I get to the top and I ran out of roses. So the next day I went to Dollar Tree and I thought I found the same color, but they were actually darker. So you'll see that I have to go through and use a heat gun to remove the roses. Um, because I use Gorilla Glue, it really holds. So you can't just pop them off, which is a good thing, but it did make my job a little bit harder. 
So just know that if you ever run into problems, they can always be fixed. You can always fix things. It might not turn out the way you thought it was going to, but it can still turn out to be beautiful. And you see, I do the top part the exact same way as I've been, I've been doing all of the bottom ones. And I did kind of do a pattern, which I had to go back through and redo because I had to get a different color rose. I'm basically just adding glue and attaching it to the frame. I did end up doing three across, three roses. One on the right, one on the left, and one in the middle. And I kind of liked the way it was all squished together. It made the roses look really pretty. And you can add as much or as little hot glue as you know you think is necessary. Just make sure you're moving your wreath around. You don't want to glue it to the surface that you're working on. And the good thing about my mat is when I'm done, I can just scrape off the glue. Super simple. And I did want to add some to the tip and I'll do that to the sides and the top as well once I get to that point. You do have to hold this glue for a while. And here I'm showing you how you can attach them to each other. So it's like added security. But back to the hot glue. For some reason, Gorilla Glue takes a long time to dry, but it really holds. So um, I'm skipping parts where I'm actually sitting there holding the flower in place. I do show you one flower, but honestly, I ended up holding them anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds for most of them. Um, and some, if I had like several together, I was holding them for 20 seconds. So it is time consuming, but the Gorilla Glue really holds. And you can see there a, a minute ago, I had it turned upside down and I just was securing the back to make sure everything has glue, everything's attached to something, nothing's gonna come loose. These roses were just so pretty. I thought about doing an ombre look, but I didn't think I had enough of the purple roses because I did have some white roses. But I like how it turned out in the end. And I know it's not Easter, but you can always hang across, especially when it's covered in beautiful roses. And the only thing I was counting on this were the three across. Um, you can put as many as you want up and down. You could probably space them out a little bit. I kind of have them all smooshed together. I just like the look of that. It's just mesmerizing. It's so beautiful. Okay, so here's where I realized I ran out of roses. So I stop after I add this one. Um, before I started recording, I went ahead and took out some stripes of roses. You can see kind of holes right here along the long way. And here I'm showing you how you how I did that. I used the heat gun. I did rip some of my roses and had to um, trim away those petals. But the heat gun works. You just don't want to burn yourself and you don't want to melt the roses. So you have to be careful. But it doesn't take a lot of heat to heat that glue up and pop them right off. And then you can see the new roses here on the left are a little bit darker. They're more of a blue. And then I just kind of mix those in after I pulled out what I felt like needed to be pulled out. I wanted it to be balanced and pretty and have some kind of pattern. And see, it was kind of nice to fill them in. Some of them you could turn kind of to the side and then you would have something to glue the next set of roses to. And then that's what the back looked like. And then once I was done, I went through with my heat gun and got rid of all the strings, the hot glue strings. And then I decided I want to put a bow on it. That's not necessary. You don't have to put a bow. I just thought it would look nice. So I'm just using my bow Dabra. This bow was probably eh, 10 to 12 inches across. I don't usually measure my bows. I just measure to make sure my loops are equal. And I just quickly go through. I'm twisting away from myself each time and then making another loop and I'm measuring it off the previous loop. And then once I'm comfortable with how many I have, I do just a tiny loop for the center. And then I made sure I had enough left over to make a tail. And then I'll just use a zip tie to connect everything together and pull it out of my Bodabra. You could always use wire or just a pipe cleaner. The zip tie I feel like gets it super tight. 
And there I'm just measuring to make sure I had it centered. And before I completely tighten it, I like to add in a pipe cleaner and that's what I'll use to attach it to the actual wreath. And then I just pull as tight as I can. And I do keep it on there because I'll hold it. I use it to hold on to to help me fluff my bow. Now I'm just trimming away the, the long pieces of ribbon. And super duper quickly, I'm gonna show you how I fluff my bow. It usually takes a long time. That's why I always zoom through it because it's kind of boring to watch. You do the same thing over and over again. And then I just trimmed away the zip tie and I'm just gonna use my pipe cleaner to add in my, my tails. I did angle cut them. You could dovetail them, leave them straight or do like I did and angle cut them. Now I'm just gonna feed them through the roses about where I wanna add my bow. And then just, um, I put it through one wire on that side and then one wire on the other, and then just attach this together. And then you just twist it a few times and tuck it under. And then I'll just go through and arrange my bow. And when you're selling this, the, your customer will have to do that as well. But that's it. That's how I decorated my cross wreath frame from Dollar Tree. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or you can always email me at craftingwithlee at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for watching. And if y'all learned anything today or if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you.